All right, you guys, we are here seeing all the product. This is where it's fulfilled right here in California. So nothing is overseas. It's mixed, made, manufactured, everything shipped from California. When you walk in, got the newest Miracle Elixir product shots. I'm really excited for you guys to see the full music video, but let's go into my little unit. It's so exciting. All right, guys, here it is at long last. Trisha Paytas by Glow Skin Enhancement Miracle Elixir. Um, I'll put the website below, but yes, it is. It is going to be available right now, and here is what it looks like inside. <laughs> Ta da! So this is where it's all manufactured and shipped and made. Um, Charlotte of Glow Skin Enhancement has fixed my skin from like December I went I was like in desperate need because like nothing I did was fixing my problematic skin but it's good for all problems with skin if you have like psoriasis whatever your condition is like it's it's good if you have any sort of like redness discoloration like everything obviously mine was acne but um whatever it is this is all of our boxes so they are ready to ship out um once the orders come I'm gonna come here myself and start like shipping them with everybody which is really cool you know, here's all the cards you get the instruction how to so yeah I'm really excited about this so yeah it's all happening it's all so cool I'm just happy that it's like a product that works and I'm really excited for you guys to like try it and just see I keep saying that but like you really have to see because it really is like miracle elixir it works like on so many different skin types if you wear makeup your skin stays nice and fresh underneath like it's really just like the ultimate so yeah hey this miracle elixir I'm super excited these are so pretty oh so this is just the first set, but much more to come. But I really hope you guys try it. I know you're gonna love it. Like it's just really cool. I know it kind of looks like, you know, just me or whatever, but it's literally for everybody. And I think it's really, really cool. So I'm gonna link it below if you guys want to check it out. I think it's really, really good. If you have any sort of skin problem or anything wrong with your skin, like this really is the Miracle Elixir mixed here, made here with love and um, yeah. In the stars, something in the air, and I feel alright. It's changing in the wind, I'm sinking yet again, and I feel alive, so alive. thank you so much for um all the support on the uh skincare this week um with all these launches like I don't really have a say in like timing because like you know even with sad boy there's like production there's people that are you know we're like housing things like you know things need to be turned over you know what I mean and while the skincare is like freshly made and stuff like that there are like deadlines and other people involved so I just I have to keep going promoting it I have to keep posting on my channel you know um one it keeps me sane social media but all these other things like all these other launches I have been working on for like the skincare has been in the making since last November sad boys about the same time because we were like doing that soft launch with kind of like the major order um stuff but yeah everything even now like we have stuff like in six months that is coming out for sad boy that's not a collab that's like sad boy brand and like we have collabs coming out too but i'm sorry if the timing f seems bad it, it's 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 not good for me i'll tell you that because right now the whole internet hates me 
it's not manipulation. That's just a fact. Not the whole internet. There's like, it's like 75%. And it, it's, it's, it's not ideal. It's not an ideal time. Like I didn't, I didn't want any of this to happen. Obviously, like it's, it's going to affect not only like these launches because people are upset with me, but like future ones too. Like it just, it means I have to work like that much harder to like promote this stuff because frenemies was that instant promotion. Like it, it was, it, it was a good gig. I loved it. Like I was so excited to start promoting this stuff on it because like it just, it worked really well. Like it, it just, it helped even like the first sad boy launch, like, you know, because of like when I would mention on front of me, it would always push it. So it doesn't help. It doesn't help in any way. Let me tell you that like this does not help, you know, people, you know, once people get over the, the drama or whatever, you know, views go down, whatever, it's back to normal. Like just going to push me to like, you know, keep doing my thing, but I had to put out these launches. Anyways, that's that disclaimer. And, um, yeah, for anyone who's like, this was planned to promote skincare. Like this was meant to come out that video. If you go back to my TikToks, we filmed it. I want to say like right after my birthday, like May 11th. Like it's, it's been, you know what I mean? It's been out. I, it was, the product was launching, you know, there's, there's other people involved, especially with my skincare, Charlotte, who has her own company, the Glow Skin Enhancement, who I'm collabing with, who I keep saying I'm collabing with because I don't know if people are thinking like, I just randomly, you know, I've been talking about Glow Skin Enhancement. If you look at any of my skincare routines, I have been using um, product that wasn't previously sold. Like this is the product I've been testing on my face that wasn't previously sold to the public with Charlotte. Like, you know, people are like, oh my God, you've been getting facials and stuff. I've been getting facials for like three years. Facials are so temporary unless you have the product to keep using. It's like diet, right? Or like losing weight, like exercise. What do they say? Like exercise is like diet is like 80% in the kitchen, right? Like losing weight is 80% in the kitchen. Something like that. I don't know. I'm like, obviously I'm not a diet expert. But same thing with skincare. Like yes, facials help, but like it is 80% what you use at home. And I've learned that so much because I used to get facials from other people like Bougie, Beverly Hills people. And like it just wouldn't, it just wouldn't be like long lasting. So obviously my skin this week got really red because I did get one more facial. I've only gotten... Um, this is my third facial in, um, uh, probably like a year because I started seeing Charlotte before, before we even thought, like had an idea. I, 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 I talked about her all the time because my makeup artist already introduced me because obviously my makeup artist knows my skin and yeah, my skin's like not perfect, but like the smoothness of my skin and stuff, like it used to be like through my makeup, through everything. So like yeah, my skin is like still not perfect, but this stuff helped so much. Like it really did. Like a lot of people have noticed the ingredients. They're really simple ingredients. Like again, I don't formulate this. This is uh, Charlotte's expertise. This is a small business. This isn't a big corporation. This isn't proactive, you know, not even Kylie's skin. Like it's not, you know, it's it's really just here. Like it's, it's like made and shipped in like this warehouse. And um, so, you know, it's promoting small business. Um, small female business, you know, I like Charlotte has, I mean, all the employees I met have been female. I don't know, you know, just for what it is, you know, I am just really, not only that, it's not, you know, I, it's, it's the one thing that's worked. Cause I've used proactive. I used Sinitas and like Sinitas or whatever. And like, it works, you know, like I've talked about it. it works like a little bit, but then my skin like literally will go back to like how it was. And like I said, I've been, I've been with Charlotte now since November using her products and like it really it really has helped tre tremendously like and I'm confident to say that because like obviously people are going to get the product and people are going to review it especially it being me it's gonna be like extra extra harsh on me right but um it works like that's why I'm so excited and I was so honored that like I could even be the face of the box because it's such a great system the eye cream the night serum like it's 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 amazing like it really has been like life-changing for me and I'm like happy to promote this because it's something that I use that I love that like you know and to be able to put my name on that is like really really cool like I don't put my name on a lot of things you know what I mean I've been offered like a lot of like stuff that I like just wouldn't use or whatever but um this is like only beginning or like skincare box you know the miracle elixir like a lot of people also are giving me shit for the name, which is so funny because like a lot of people like she planned this like to have the name be um, correlated with uh, Sweeney Todd and it's pissed. Like obviously it's a play on Sweeney Todd because I saw the music video in my head for it and I really wanted to do it. Now, I will say like the execution of my music video like wasn't great, not because of the crew, because honestly, <laughs> back to the crew, but like I've used Andrew Valentine and his production team since 2015. Like I'm obsessed with his work. The quality of my music video is always chef's kiss. People always say that like the quality, the cinematography, the videography, amazing. 
the actual songs are always debatable <laughs> and that's that falls on me and this song was one that i wrote and it was supposed to be in the vena but it's really hard to do in the vena without like having the same melodies and stuff like that so even when i recorded the song because it had it was like two days before we filmed the video i was just like I don't feel really confident with singing this song or performing it. The extras are really, really great though. The the actors on the set with me, they were like into it and it was really great because I was so embarrassed. I was, it was a little embarrassing and like, I guess that's why I posted a main channel video right away because usually I let them ride and I'm kind of like, you know what I mean? But hey, it's, it is what it is. I liked, I liked how the skincare commercial came up better. I am going to be uploading the skincare commercial without the filter because my skin was bomb. Like it was bomb. Like I hadn't gotten a facial since like, I think January and my, my skin was bomb like it looked so good that day so like yes the beauty filter was meant to be like a little bit of a parody on like early 2000s commercials some people got it some people didn't some people you know what i mean it obviously was a choice but i am going to put out the other commercial without the beauty filter because i really do think my skin looked really great i still think my skin looks really great like it is a little hormonal because my period's coming so i do have a little bit of hormonal but even that it's like so under control and as far as scarring, that's why I've been getting, um, that's why I got the facials because my scarring is so bad. Like my scarring was really deep rooted. So I've, I've just gotten another one because I was trying to get it. Not, you know, it was obviously the timing of it. So everyone's like, yeah, Trish, your skin looks like shit or whatever. But, um, yeah, this, like I said, this stuff works, you know, a lot of people like hate me or whatever, like even if they do, like a lot of the comments are like, okay, the ingredients are good. And um, I'm just, I'm really excited that we were able to formulate like this box, this package, um, because I thought that was like, that was the key. And the fact that we could do the, all the pieces, all the systems that I use, it's full size. Um, it is $200, but again, it's it's like locally made. You get full size product. Like it's, it's really, it's, it's really quality stuff. And it's like freshly made. Oh, so that's the other thing. So if you place your order throughout the week, they ship out on Friday because they're like freshly made, all that stuff like that. It'll ship out to you. Like the stuff is just amazing. And as you could see from like, um, like the facility, like I didn't show you obviously everything. There's like a warehouse and stuff like that. Like this was just kind of like the, the bare bones of it. But like Charlotte's in there shipping. Like, you know, it's just, I, like I said, I believe in the product. It's why I'm like honored to be the face of it. Um, I do think the timing is extremely poor. And for those of you who did support it, and continue to support it like thank you like this is it really is separate um just because i'm posting and just because like i want tiktok and stuff like that like i don't know what people want me to do you want me to go hide in a hole like i'm not really sure you know i'm just i'm trying to like just work through myself you know what i mean just like and i for me like i said posting on social media is just like it's just my space. It's my, that's my normal. That's my stability. Like I love posting. It feels weird to not post. Like I just get inspired and excited. And I don't know, I posted a cooking video cause I like to cook and we've been, I've been filming videos this week. Like, you know, it doesn't mean I'm like happy. And if anything, I'm like so distraught. And there's obviously so many feelings I have to work through. Of, you know, there's that regret and there's distraught and then there's, you know, anger. And there's just so much stuff that I had to work through. But like, I'm, I'm really not trying to like be that person online, you know, because I go to online for like escapism and stuff like that. And anyways, that was it. All I have to say to show this vlog because I was really excited. I filmed this obviously a week or two ago. And um like I'm just really, really thankful for the people who if you want, you know, it helps with all like skin problems. If you have like flawless skin, you know, stick with whatever you're doing. But any sort of discoloration or for me it was my acne just like whatever sort of problem you have like this stuff really does work and it kind of gives it a little bit of a tingle thing which I haven't felt before when I use like the serums and stuff like that it kind of gives my skin this like tingle so kind of like an at home facial in a box kind of thing but um yeah so the, the box is paid as miracle elixir if we do more products when we do more products I want to do spot treatment so when you do get your zits you have spot treatment to just overnight because when I've gotten zits like especially before like music videos um, Charlotte has a spot treatment that's like amazing. She also has these like pads that she soaks in. I'm not really sure. The ingredients. I have to, I should educate myself. Honestly, I should because I would love, I and also just do a video with Charlotte. She's amazing. But these pads that have like this, um, it's kind of like oil and you like sit with your face on it for like 30 minutes at night and then like wipe, like rinse. It's like a facial at home. It feels so good to use it for like a week at a time. It's so amazing. I want to like, I want to put those out. Like also my, those oil wipes I use to blot my face to get the oil for my oily skins out there. Like I'm, we're working on something like that. Like just really just doing stuff that like, oh, like, um, like clay masks, like tea tree masks or something like, so there's like, sky's the limit because like I said, I've been working with her for a while and we've been like 
experimenting and trying new things and she really just like knows like anytime I need something she like has it um but she's just really really great and so um I'm like I said it's a collaboration with Glow Skin Enhancement. Obviously, I'm not gonna be making my own skincare. You know, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a. I don't even know what the word is. Lab technician, esthetician. Um, you know, she's the expert, and she has experts working with her. So, um, and she's been really cool through all this. I felt. Really, I. I feel. I mean, I felt bad. Even worth working with Marsan. Marsan. Mar 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 Brands with Sad Boy. We have another launch coming out Monday. And I'm like, I find myself like apologizing. And then there's other people working besides Marsan Brands. There's, I work with, I have like project managers and stuff that I work with. Like it is obviously like, you can tell by the photos, the website, everything is just a little more elevated. And I, I, I already apologize. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like they see, people see what's going on. And I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like I, I hope this isn't, I mean, I know this will affect the launch of the second Sad Boy 2 phase. I know um, I, oh, I've seen that it's affected sales because like sales Monday before the Friend of Muse aired was like really good. And I'm not just saying this, like it was really good. And then Tuesday, like the, it got cut in half and then it kind of like crashed. And, um, you know, luckily Charlotte's like, you know, it's fine. We keep going. You know, it is, she's been really supportive. Marsan has been really supportive. Like everyone's just really like supportive because I feel like I'm letting them down. Like they, you know, took a chance and, you know, they got into business with me when people were like loving me and now people are hating me. And it's, that's, for me, it's like the nature of it. I'm just, it's just, it is what it is. That's why even during front of me, it's always like, don't put me on a pedestal. Like I am not, like I am not on a pedestal. Anything I said on front of me is I had been saying for years on my YouTube channel. And I'm just, you know what I mean? Like it's, I'm really not to be held on any, obviously people can see why, like I'm not to be held at anything. So for me, I always just take highs and lows with just a grain of salt. It's like, what is what it is. Um, and obviously some companies, you know, but, but all the companies, all my sponsors I work with, like, you know, they've all like reached out and stuff. And I'm just like, sorry. Like, I'm just, if I have, I have post post, you know, I have deadlines with fashion. Nova, I have deadlines with me from there. Like, I'm like, I'm just letting you know, I'm getting a lot of hate online right now. I don't want to like have hate come onto your company and you know, they've been supportive and you know, there, there's nasty people who try and reach out and try and be like, just do the worst. And, and again, it's part of the internet. Like I am not above canceling you know what I mean I've been canceled like you know I've always always said the only person that can cancel you is yourself like I can I can choose to leave the internet and then then I'm I am canceled but if I keep posting to even like a thousand people like I will I think I'll always have a thousand viewers I think I think I always will have 20,000 viewers that's what I, that, I'm gonna wage my bet higher because I feel like I've never really gone under 20,000 views in the past 10 years <laughs> Actually, the past 15. I've been following me for 15 years. I post it all the time. I post it through mental hospitals and stuff. Like, again, that's what I'm saying. Like, I really, sorry, this is turning into a longer thing. I really hate everybody bringing up, like, I'll talk about them because people are bringing it up and stuff like that, but I don't, like, I've always said mental illness is not an excuse. And I don't like to be defined as that. Like, I I don't even like talking about borderline or schizophrenia. Like, schizophrenia is a new one for me this year. I really don't like talking about it because I don't want people to just see me as that. Because one, it's actually kind of more harmful to, like, businesses working with me because people who aren't educated on schizophrenia will be like, whoa, you know, because that sounds intense. Even to me, I'm like, oh, my God, like, am I, you know, should I not be a mother? Like, you know, you start questioning all these things. So people who haven't had treatment or been diagnosed or like don't understand it, like companies, everybody will be like, oh my gosh, she's got schizophrenia. Like that's bipolar, borderline, like it all's kind of trendy right now. But like schizophrenia is like, a, it to me was always like, oh wow. So one, it doesn't, it's not like, it's not helpful to my brand or image or to, you know, people who meet me or whatever. And two, it's like, I don't want that to define me. I don't want people to bring that up in this because a lot of people are bringing up borderline and splitting and all that stuff like that, which is, you know, whatever. But but at the end of the day, like it is up to me to control it, right? Like I can't just be, my family has endured like me being undiagnosed for my entire life until I was like, 29, right? Like we did, like I've been taken to places, like when I was really young, they thought schizophrenia, but they've endured me being just nasty, just flipping out. Like, and they're my family and I'm, I can't believe they still talk to me, like truly, but like they have. And, and same thing with Moses, like he didn't want to date me for months because I had so many crazy episodes, like crazy yes I was on drugs but it was also like it was starting the voices and stuff like that just insane like I would go I would drive to his house naked like all this crazy stuff like just just out of my mind because I, I heard voices from God saying go save Moses like from there's something evil happening in his place like just you know I'm gonna use the word crazy just crazy stuff and I haven't heard voices since May 
I've been on medication since May. Obviously, medication takes a while. I'm not saying that just turned, but like I really haven't heard voices since May. Even when I like have episodes or whatever that are my own, I'm not saying it's anyone's fault. And no one should endure it. No one should endure it, period. Like I've been alone and single most of my life. Like I don't expect people to put up with it, especially if I'm not in treatment. But the fact is I'm in treatment. My partner's in treatment with me. I'm in treatment. Um you know, therapy and medication and like whether people see it or not, I have made progress. If people are like, oh, that wasn't progress just because you didn't call people names. In my book, that's huge progress. I used to call my sister the worst names. I, 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 I feel guilt to this day about it. I was awful. I told my sister she ruined Christmas, that she wasn't invited to my house because I was having it at my house. Like I've been horrible. I've been horrible. Like I don't even know how my sister, I still cry thinking about it. Like I, I don't know how my sister looks up to me still because I was horrible. My mom, my dad, um, my brother, okay? There's so many instances when I was a little kid just being horrible and doing horrible things. And um, like, it just, it just was never, I was just never treated for anything. Like I just, I really just thought like, I'm like a demon, like whatever, I don't know. So like, I am in treatment, I am getting better. And I, I you know, I haven't had an episode with Moses since November. And that to me, that's huge in my relationships because it would be every week hands down every week trying to like lock someone in my house blocking the like it, I, I, I've been horrible like I don't that's why I said don't ever put me on a pedestal like I've, I've done horrible things like you know and like I'm glad someone told me I had a mental illness because I can start getting treated for that borderline there's no medication but even with schizophrenia I was like you know I need to start taking this medication because even this year when everything was going perfect I was still hearing literal demon voices not into intrusive thoughts demon voices demon voices so clear as day sometimes i would like talk to one it wasn't like a, a an outline i was talking to someone like it was great i'd hear bells i'd hear whistles like so for me when i have episodes or i split or whatever which is on me not using as excuse whatever happens like i i do feel like i disengage better i don't i don't hear the demon voices where i just see people as devil 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 like that's how i you know what i mean like it, it's scary it's really scary to start where you just are spewing, just spewing it, these hate, hateful thoughts. And I didn't, I really didn't have any hatred thoughts. So like when I look back and reflect from this week, like I'm, I'm doing as much as I can without doing too much and like, you know, just going into like a spiral. And I'm not, I'm not like everyone's like, she's having a mental breakdown because I'm like saying Black Parade on my TikTok. Like I've been doing that for a year. Like I sing, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> um, so, oh, well, <laughs> we're going to go to the grocery store. So, all that to say, what am I saying? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I guess just I really, I have, I've noticed, my family has noticed, people who have known, known, known me have noticed. I I know, I know that my treatment's working. It's why I stay in it. If I if I didn't think I was making any progress, I would be like, they're wrong. Because I've said that so long, many times. I'm like, they're wrong. People have diagnosed me with bipolar. And I'm like, they're wrong. And they were because they put me on medication that I shouldn't have been on including the medication I'm on now, I'm not really sure if it's best for me, but I'm still on it, still figuring it out, because one thing I don't want is voices telling me to jump out of a window or drive my car into a tree, and it's very, very real to the point where, like, I see, like, a hand taking my car to turn it off, like, you know, I don't drive. I really don't drive anymore. Like, really, Moses has been driving me. A lot of people have noticed, like, we're always together in the car or something, and, um, I, I, I try, I don't drive that much. I'm going to start trying again because I don't hear these voices and I don't see, you know, things that aren't there. Um, so I am going to start trying again. And like, I've been told that I'm, I'm able to, you know, obviously. So it's just a lot. It's a lot, you guys. And I don't know. I'm not, everyone's like, you're so manipulative to say that, you know, you quit because the crew, what, but to me, that was like a boundary I had to set because I, I don't know boundaries. Like I'm learning, I'm getting better. But like sometimes like for me, I was like, I need to take myself. It's not a manipulation tactic. I don't know what anything. I need to take myself out of a situation where I don't have control. You know, I'm in control in the sense of myself. Like I don't have control, right? If Even if it's just like a little bit of a trigger and I can't handle that, you know, I can't handle the push or I can't handle whatever. Like it's not manipulation to take yourself out. It's just like a boundary. Like, you know, I didn't want the show to end. And it wasn't going to, like, we, 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 we were fine. We talked about it, whatever. And then, you know, once I heard that half of like, you know, they're not, 
you know, they were, you were rude, you were destroyed. And I was like, okay, I need to, I need to take myself out because I'm not being able to control something, right? Like I can't control how I'm treating other people and no one should have to deal with that. And it's not, I don't know, people always be like, you're manipulative, you're this. And I'm just, I'm really just trying my best of disengaging boundaries. Like I'm just, I'm just trying my best. And if that makes me like selfish and rude and it's like, you know, like I hear it, I hear it loud and clear. As much as I, I really can't read comments on like YouTube right now, some Twitter and then TikTok, I'm like scrolling through so quickly. Like I try not to like, because there's just so much. I was like, oh God. But at the end of the day, it's the end of the day. And then you have a new day tomorrow, unless you're dead. And in that case, then you're at peace, you know? Um, I'm writing music now. So I have, an, I have an album coming out that I've been writing that has to do with the voices in my head. There's a really good one I love called Wall to Wall coming out, coming out soon actually. Um, and it's like, um, I try to run, but I, wait, no, it's like, parachute from my own brain. It's a full blown circus in here. Too many words and not enough air. It's a full blown disorder upstairs. It's just not clear who's talking to me anymore. I try to run, but I only crawl. My mind is bouncing from wall to wall. It's like, it's really like, it, it's really like a, it's really a schizo album. I should have just called it schizo. Um, but that's coming out. And then I'm also writing one now. And I, I lost my train of thought again. I'm literally losing my train of thought. But um, it's, it's, it's kind of like a death album. But it's kind of like finding comfort in death. You know what I mean? Don't worry about me. I'm not. There's nothing wrong. But like, you know, there's just kind of peacefulness in death. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry if that sounded like dark. But it's like the, the, the songs I'm writing now is just very much like, you know, like, when you bury me, like, you know, I'm going to be at peace, you know, like when God calls me home, it's not Christian, it's not God related, but like in my head, this is what I'm trying to write without making it Christian, like religious related. But like, you know, um, when I'm called home, like, you'll know that this is my like light. I'll know my purpose, like, you know, that kind of stuff. But it, it, it gets a little morbid, like, kind of, cause that's how my head thinks sometimes. It's kind of like, um, like dead and gone, you know, I don't know. I've been listening to too much Black Parade. <laughs> I really do. I'm kind of like, oh, okay, the ghost of you. Um, like, I just, Black Parade. I mean, anyways, I don't know. I'm, I'm rambling. But anyways, all that to say, thanks for thanks for supporting. Um, you can get my skincare, uh, Petus Miracle Elixir, at trishkin.com. And I'm really excited to see you guys, like, test it out in, like, the 30 days. Oh, if you take before and afters, I can't find the text. I don't know. Take before and afters you want. You know, I don't know. I thought there was something we were doing, but I'll have to ask her about that just before I just spew it. But I love you guys. I hope you're all having a really good weekend. Um, And yeah, I hope this like, you know, I hope this show is like, you know, I mean, I'm like, okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Everyone, I don't know. People, I think, want to me to like, spiral or something or but for like to take a break like I don't I really I don't need it <laughs> like I really like posting and um yeah okay I'll talk to you guys soon bye enjoy your weekend have a really great weekend I got a lot of sun yesterday so I'm gonna probably go get some sun today all right so these are all my personal boxes that I was like can you send me some because they were packaging and shipping it out yesterday and um yeah this is the stuff I use so I was like I need all of it. But yeah, these are the boxes. These are really nice. Again, I'm going to give it up to Charlotte at Glow Skin for making such amazing packaging, especially for like the first run, like having no idea how people are going to react to this or whatever. It's like just so nice. It has the paper. I was like so impressed. And then it has Glow Skin hands right there. And then when you open it, it has the little card and it shows you how to use the whole collection. And then there's the whole collection. So you have the um, night cream, day cream, the glow night serum, morning face routine, some morning toner and the cleanser. So it's like full, these are full at full sizes. I have so many over here. Um, I mean, you only need also like a little dollop, like literally a dollop of this stuff, morning, night, all of it. So there's a lot, there's a lot in there. So yeah, all the ingredients and stuff are online, of course. I'm excited, like I said, for people to actually start reviewing this because I really, like, it's good. It's good, you know, like, there's no, it's 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 not coming from, you know, we're not outsourcing it or anything. It's all right here. And this little eye cream. I think the serums, I don't know. The morning toner is great. You just spritz it on your face. The serums are the thing that kind of give it, oh my God, 
I almost dropped it. The little tingling sensation. And then this little eye cream is really good as well. Um, we didn't have this yet for the, when we did the music video or the commercial shoot, but it is like, I use the cream. It's amazing. So it's just so cute. I love that it says a miracle elixir on there. And yeah, this is just the beginning. So thank you guys so much for supporting all this. Trishkin.com. I will link it below. Check it out. And yeah, 